Hey what's up guys, Control here, and I'm making this video to give you guys my thoughts on the 10.2 balance change patch. Let's just take a quick look at exactly what is being changed before we jump in. Also this entire video will be dedicated to a wild perspective of the change, I won't be talking about the cards from a standard perspective. So number one, Bowmare, it now costs 8 up from 7, it's whatever. Uh, Quarter Creeper now has 2 attack down from 5, so still 7 mana, um, still a set review card, you know, when minions die you get cheaper and the corridor you go deeper etc etc uh patches no longer has charge and raza reads now battle cry if your deck has no duplicates your hero power costs one this game one thing i'd like to note before we're moving on to individual cards is they are thinking about wild a little bit right we have a little bit of text here saying um in the patches and raza kind of notes here it's like this change should give wild players more flexibility when building their decks uh talking about patches which definitely makes sense because a lot of fast decks do run him and for Raza, adjusting his battle cry will lower his overall power when combined with Shattered Granduin and Standard and keep his power level reasonable and wild as we prepare for the new year. Okay, so first up, Bowmare. I don't think there's really too much to talk about. This card was used in some Temple Rogue decks occasionally in Wild, uh, but it doesn't really suit exactly what Wild's metagame is kind of utilizing the moment. There's no real curvy mid-range decks on Wild. It's mostly just fast decks, combo decks, and control decks. There's not so much uh, the, the mid rangey decks that would like to just like drop a 6-drop like Karen and then play Bowmare on 7, like Tempo Rogue and Standard right now. Just not a thing in this format. Uh, Tempo Rogue kind of is, but it's not you know super prevalent in the metagame, like in Tier 1, and it, you know you see it like 1 out of every 5 games like you do in Standard. So I don't really think that this change is very impactful for Wild, and I don't think anybody's super, super sad. Again, we have Dr. Boom in the 7 slot, so I'm not too worried about losing Bowmare. Obviously the taunt is relevant, but... You know, 8 mana Bowmare, fine with me. No big deal for a while. So Coral Creeper, this one is a little bit more of a big deal just because right now with current aggro decks, uh, they're struggling a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean a lot. A lot of the combo and slower decks uh, that, you know, run just a lot of board clears and have late game combos or try and exhaust you out of the game have very, very good board clears. Uh, think about Priest, for example. In Wild, they have Excavated Evil, you know, Dragonfire Potion, uh, Light Bomb, Psychic Scream, Alcanized Circle, Wild Pyro combos. And Quarter Creeper is one of the ways that faster decks could actually get back on the board after that. So decks like uh, Agar Paladin, uh, the list that I hit rank 1 with last season, and then Agar Druid uh, right now really rely on Quarter Creeper as refill. And losing this is going to really suck. And it's really just going to make it that much harder for these fast decks to actually compete with the slower ones. Because the fast decks are just losing a lot of really good cards. Think about Recent Nurse. Fiery War Axe is now 3 mana, which is terrible for Pyro Warrior. It knocked it out from being one of the best decks in the format to like a tier 2 deck. And now, I mean, Pyro Warrior doesn't really run Quarter Creeper, but that's a good transition into the next card. So I'm very sad, but um, I, I definitely understand why this next card is getting nerfed. Patches of Pyro. So not having charges on patches is not like super bad for Pyro Warrior. I mean, you can still use, you know, the ship's cannon coin to Zoss first mate and get 4 damage with that. But not being able to, tra to trade initially with patches is absolutely terrible. One of the big changes about this card that I think um, you might not think about right away is how bad it's going to feel when you draw patches now. It's no longer a Stone Test board, it's a one mana Wisp. The card does absolutely nothing when you pick it up. At least sometimes, like say you're playing Agar Druid, you can dr jam patches of Pirate and play Mark of Yisraj on it, get three damage to charge to trade into your opponent's minion. Now you can't do anything with that, and it's going to feel really bad to fit into decks that don't try and utilize ship's cannon. And that's definitely the intended um, reason they changed it, right? So you don't just slot it in. Okay, um, you know, Bloodsail Corsair is now just a better Living Roots because you get a 1-2 and then Patches of Pirate with Charge. So they're kind of just like doing that so you don't just slot a 1-drop or 3-drop Pirate being so seek captain in every deck that you run uh, that's aggressive in nature to just get Patches out of your deck and trade with early. So I definitely think that's cool. But for the decks that it's intended to fit in, this really hurts. Just after seeing Quarter Creeper and Patches being nerfed, I really hope that there's a little bit more support for aggressive decks in the next expansion. Because right now, in Wild, it looks like they're kind of just disappearing at the moment. They're very hard to play. Uh, I'm top 25 on North America, Europe, and Asia right now. And I tried playing aggro decks for the most part climbing, just because on Europe and uh, Asia, I'm very budget. So I played a lot of Pirate Warrior, I played a lot of Aggro Druid, I played a lot of Face Hunter. And um, none of the decks are really succeeding right now. Aggro Druid's alright, uh, Hunter and Pirate Warrior are in a really tough spot at the moment. And Patches Nerf is definitely not going to help them, and Quarter Creeper is not going to help them at all either. Curve being a 2-5 now is not worth it to run in your deck, so... Uh, I'm interested to see how aggro decks can stand up moving forward past the balance changes, but I'd like to see a, a couple more aggressive cards that will really help those archetypes moving forward. Lastly, Raza the Chained. 
So, uh, I love playing Arena Fury, so I think it's a really fun skill-intensive deck. And, uh, you know, obviously this nerf kind of sucks, but if anything, I think it'll make it a little bit more skill-intensive, actually. Making your hero power cost 1 is um, just a way to make the Spawn of Shadows combo a little bit less stupid than it is right now, right? Uh, as long as you have Spawn of Shadows and four other cards, so say you have Spawn of Shadows, Circle of Healing, Silence, Power Word Shield, and North Shire Clerk, that's five cards, six mana, that's 32 damage. <laughs> so this will make the Spawn of Shadows combo a little bit more reliant on Emperor Thorson, but um, this isn't going to delete Reno Priest from the game. It's still going to be a, a viable deck in Wild, and I'll still definitely play with it, and it'll feel a lot more fair now, too, is a really cool part about it, I think. Uh, not that fairness is really super important in Hearthstone, but I think it'll be cool, and you'll have to fight for games a lot harder than you would have before. It won't just be the good old Raz on 5, Anduin on 8, uh, you know, GG. It won't be like that. Instead, I'll be interested to see how the deck lists that are currently being used evolve and kind of adapt to this uh, one mana hero power now. As Raza, the change is now kind of like a permanent Maiden of the Lake, if you guys remember that card. Overall, I'm not too happy with 10.2's balance changes. Uh, I'm excited that they were mentioning Wild a little bit for the changes to Patches and Raza, but uh, the Wild community, and myself included, do think there are a few more problematic cards in Wild, and I will be making a video touching on those in the future. Um, Barnes and Naga Sea Witch. Yeah, most of the community think those cards need to be changed, uh, myself included. <clears throat> so hopefully... Um, you know, in the future, Blizzard continues to think about changing cards uh, with Wild in mind. They'll think about those too. But, um, you know, just to say Eggers in right now, I'm not super happy about that. And then the nerf to the cards that kind of support Eggers archetypes really isn't too great, right? Like, think about how rampant you're going to be able to run with your Naga Warlock deck or your Cube Warlock deck. I feel like with the changes that are currently made, uh, the metagame is going to kind of devolve into something that's very, very greedy. It's going to be a lot of combo decks and uh, just a lot of decks trying to fit a bunch of greedy stuff in their list because uh, your decks right now can't even punish Naga Sea Witch on turn 5. So if you lose patches, you lose Quarter Creeper, how are you supposed to do that? You lose two of your better tools in an aggressive deck and hey, you have to kill Naga Sea Witch Warlocks or Hunters on turn 5 or else they're going to play a Naga Sea Witch and 4 8 eights. Good luck dealing with that. But we'll see how the meta evolves. Uh, I'm happy they are testing, uh, touching cards for Wild's sake. And, uh, I mean, any change on Hearthstone is fun. I like it when change, uh, cards get changed, but I just wish it was other ones rather than these. Regardless, so thanks to Blizzard for changing stuff. Appreciate it. Have a good one, guys. Peace out.